Nation, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another bullet journal layout for the month of August. Hi guys, welcome back. If you stick to the end, there's gonna be a quick giveaway here. You know, I love your face for coming on back. If you guys don't know, I do have an Etsy shop where I sell stickers. It's something that I started in June, something that I really love and have been very passionate about. I think for me, I've always wanted to create merchandise for my viewers, but I wanted to make sure that it was something that I can really be hands-on with and at the same time, create something that you guys really enjoy and that you find is worthy of your dollar. To be able to do this and really be proud of what I do and have y'all really enjoy the product, it really is just, it makes my heart sing. So this is the kit, it's packaged, ready to go to your house. So yeah, I'm gonna use this kit for the layout of August. And obviously, you know, you can just watch how I do my layout. You don't have to use actual stickers, but I just like to just because I think it makes it so pretty. And at the same time, they're so easy to use that I can't help myself. At the end of this video, there will be a giveaway for uh, one of these kits. So if you want to stay, then cool. If you wanna skip ahead, there's the timestamp down below and I won't judge ya. But let's get into the layout. All right, so before we start, let's do a quick flip through of last month. So I used the Golden Galapagos kit and that's how I got the cover there for July. And uh, we have Grow and Groody here, which is always my favorite page, the month laid out. And I always struggle with filling out my income bills and all of that stuff. So I gotta figure out a better way to do that. The first week of July was a little bit messy just because it was July 4th and we had a lot of stuff going on. So it was just, oh my gosh, it was so busy. The second week I ended up using the Watermelon Pop Miniature Kit and uh, I actually got a lot accomplished that week. For the third week of July I used the Sweet Cherry Blossoms Kit and I think this is probably one of my favorite. It's just so dainty and so girly. And then for the last week of July I kind of figured out a better layout that I like and uh, I didn't really use a kit for this one but I was really accomplishing a lot that week. Okay, fresh month, fresh page, and the post-it note is usually for me to remind myself to do certain things that are really important so that I can write it down when I do my new layout. And we are going to be using the Out of This World kit, which is the new kit that's in my shop for the month of August. And there is about 16 different little things in this kit, so you're gonna be covered for the whole month of August if you wanna go this route. And uh, yeah, I, I was just really proud of working on this kit. And I always try to throw in one extra little freebie, so this month you're gonna get a free little crystal paperclip charm. So every single my monthly kit will always come with its own complimenting pocket, and I already have the adhesive attached to it. All you gotta do is just peel it and stick it to a page in your journal. And then uh, you can easily store them and be reminded to use them <laughs> as the month go by. All right, let's start with the cover page and I'm going to do it on the left side here. And I'm just taking a ruler to draw out a square. This little square here is going to be the guide on how I place my stickers and I'm just using a bunch of the galaxy crystals here and I'm just sticking it along the square, kind of like giving it a nice decorative element here. I am not going to lie, I did get a little peel and stick happy here because I just couldn't help myself. It was therapeutic, I was having fun, I was listening to a podcast. It was just like the right feels in every single way. So, you know, you have to probably check yourself when you're peeling and sticking here. The one thing I must admit is that I always try to fully load you guys with deco elements so that you don't feel stunted when it comes to creating your layout and you're not feeling like you don't have enough to decorate your journal. So once I got the balance of the crystals right, I am just using some of the holographic liners that also comes with the kit. And I'm just going to outline the rest of the square. And I'm just going to use the word August from the lovely month sheets and place it right in the center here. And I couldn't help myself, so I added a little moon, some tiny rockets, and I'm using a pen just to do a little swirly so it looks like the rockets are shooting from somewhere. And those are kind of like some of my final decorations. Okay, moving on to the next page, I always like to do an extra door and this time I'm going to do it on pink cardstock because I was cutting a bunch of cardstock for another project and I have some left over. So I'm just going to tape that to the right hand side here and it will be my new little flap. For the request of my friend Flo, I decided to do monthly layouts for you guys as well. So all you gotta do is just peel and stick it right on and you don't have to worry about drawing them out at all. 
I do like to, however, kind of layer it. So having some of the crystals underneath and on top, just to give it a little bit more decorations. And then at the top, I'm just gonna go ahead and write in the word August at the very top. And then in the little boxes, I'm just going to fill in all of the days of the month. Moving on to the flap, I am going to decorate the headers with galaxy clouds here. And then I'm going to put down the word bills. And then in the middle, I'm going to use that for income. And at the very bottom, it will be my savings. So the kit also comes with a quote sheet, which is one of my favorite things because these are quotes that you guys have submitted in. And it's just nice to read some of these inspiring words before you tackle on the craziness of your weeks. Okay, now I'm using my holographic star trackers and I'm going to put that right underneath bills. On the left side will be the bill, on the right side will be how much the bill is and I'm just gonna fill in the stars as I pay off my bills. For these, I always leave the cutouts inside of the tracker just because you can reuse the stars um, either to decorate your planner still and for me personally, I like to just put them on my nails. Okay, on the underside of this door, I'm going to do the Growing Groody page. This is the page where I'm going to select a photo from the beginning, middle, and end of the month of August to paste right here so then I can see how much she's grown. Honestly, this is the page that I'm really good at keeping up with because I just love it so much and I love seeing her grow so much and you guys already know that I also love her so much. I also use the LG Pocket Photo Printer, so this is just one of the sheet of paper and I'm just gonna trace it all the way around to give me an outline of how the pictures are gonna be laid out. And then I'm using these silver circles, which is my favorite thing on my shop. I think it's really cute, especially for like baby photos and baby scrapbooking. And then I lay it around the tracing of the photo. This way when I place the photo on top, um, these little circles are gonna be peeking through. Alrighty, so here's the quick flip through. We have the August cover page. Right in the middle here is going to be the month. On the right hand side is my bills, income, and savings. And then on the underside here will just be some photos of Goody for the month of August. Alrighty, so let's start on the first week of August, which includes two days of July. And I'm using these header boxes from the kit as well. And I'm just gonna lay them out onto my planner here. In the kit, I also provide you with the words Sunday through Saturday. So I'm just gonna go ahead and peel the word Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday and stick them on to the boxes. And I went ahead and provided you with the numbers one to 31. And I went ahead and peeled them off and stuck them to the coinciding days. The reason why I've been enjoying my bullet journal so much is because it does work for me and I also get to open up something that is pretty and it doesn't take me a long time to make it look pretty. And so sometimes just decorating the bottom of my weeks just is so therapeutic for me and it just makes me so happy to look at it when I'm trying to plan out my week or when I'm trying to knock out things on my to-do list. So usually on my weekly spreads, on the right hand side, I'll have things like my goals and my trackers and also a list of to-dos now. And one of my favorite things lately has been using these mason jars where I just stick it right onto my journal and I use it as my water trackers. Then on the smaller mason jar, I use that as my vitamin tracker. So this is kind of what it looks like when I fill them in and uh, I just think it's so cute. It's just a nice little quirky thing to, to add to your journal. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the deco grids. It's very simple, but it adds so much to your design and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and use that to divide the top and the bottom part from my page where the top will be my goals and my tracker and at the bottom would just be a list of to-dos and things I need to remind myself to do. Right underneath goals, I'm gonna use some of the teardrops here just to remind myself what are the goals and the outlook of this week is gonna be. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just decorate this page as well because you know, you might as well, you have the stickers, you know, just have fun with it. And so that's what the last page of the layout is going to look like, and I'm done. And that's it, you guys. So that's the layout for August. I'm kind of switching it up a little bit just to see how it works. Like I'm, I'm still trying to figure out what is the best for me. I, I realize that I'm really bad at tracking stuff. I need to be better, you know? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be hosting a giveaway to 
three winners. One will be on Facebook. If you don't follow him on Facebook, be sure to follow me on Facebook. Two will be on the Banana Peel Instagram. So if you don't follow me there, um, you should probably follow me there. And three would be on this channel here in the comment box. You can enter the Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube one all three times and, and there'll be your three submissions. So obviously if it's on Facebook, follow, like, comment. If it's on Instagram, follow, like, comment. Obviously, yeah, like and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below. What was the first sticker you have ever gotten as a child? You know, creating and making stickers has slowly brought out that inner child in me. I just really cannot wait for Grudy to grow up and, and just raise my sticker stash and to decorate her backpack and notebooks for school and stuff. Like, so excited about that. But yeah, down below, tell me what was your first sticker that you've ever gotten as a kid. And yeah, within a week, I will pick a winner from YouTube, one from Facebook once I post that, and then one from Instagram. Best of luck to you guys and uh, happy planning. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye! Remember to always rock on Slobies. Does the noise of a straw going like this bother you? Like for some people, it's just it's like nails on a chalkboard. For me, I guess like I don't really notice it, but now that I'm doing it, the hairs on my back are kind of kind of enticed. I really wish that this video was sponsored by Sonic because it is so good. I meant the video and the food, but the video is so good. Well, I think. But